Right, we're hoping the card will hold out. Here we are at Burr Green, St Augustine's. I've managed to park Alberta there, it's not a lot of room, but we're not going to be here that long. It's not as if we're here all the time. They've got a new little sign look since I was here last. So I haven't been in the last time I came, three years ago. Um, it's a brown family there, look. I hadn't actually... Uh, Oh, have they locked it then? Oh, they must have locked it early then. Oh. It says open. Maybe that's the wrong door. Is there another door? It says open. I had trouble with the door before, I think. Yeah, we can't get in this way. To four. What time is it now? Turn off, turn off a minute. Right, I am back in St Augustine's now. So the warden let, let me in, or the vicar's wife let me in. Um, the other lady locked it a bit early, but then she might have had to go on somewhere. I've got flowers there to put on the graves. I'm going to do the video first because there's a great possibility that someone else might want to come and look around the church. So it's very difficult for me to... And of course, I have videoed this before. A lot of you will have seen this video that I've done in the past. And these uh, de Burr people are connected in, in various parts of my family tree going back in, in time. I've got de Burrs. I've got Elizabeth de Clare, who became a de Burr, uh, and, and other such connections that I've, got, I've traced back. They're well documented, these people. And there's no reason why we can't be connected, not when you've traced it. John de Burr, 1300 to 1330. He was only 30, look, when he passed away. He's got no sword. I just think I've got over 500 years of family that were born, baptised, married and buried here. What you see, The graves you see are just a very, very small amount of um, people that we've got here. Uh, under there I think you've got the wedges, if I remember. Now, one of these wedges, just fold it back a minute, was an oak, I think, or she was somebody, but we, there's a, a woman in my tree that married a wedge. I found it not long ago, but of course I haven't got a laptop with me to dig all the information up. I will have to do that later when I edit the video. I can add captions, you see. But uh, these people come up in the censuses, these wedges. And there is one of our family married to one of them. But I can't say which without the appropriate information. I don't know if there's any under that one. So look, they won't mind. They won't mind if we look. As long as we put it back. 
As long as we put it back, they won't mind. St Augustine's banner looks a bit faded, doesn't it? It all comes down to money, you see, at the end of the day, doesn't it? But I did have quite a lot of work done on it not that long ago, and this church was also much bigger once. You can just tell by the, the arches and the, the shapes and the decorations. There's some more wedges there, look. More wedges. That, um, it was a lot bigger in the past. Oh, it's, it's a big church. I think that led out once. You can see, like, when you're outside, you can see these shapes. Makes you wonder if this was pushed back further in the past. I always notice lots of spiders in here. On the statues as well, I notice them. I'm going to put a couple of flowers in that holder in a minute for the debers. Inglethorpes. There's flowers around there, we could put some on there. Right, so like I say, if this has been videoed by me in the past, <clears throat> not with a Sony, it hasn't been videoed for probably seven years on the inside. I've done the outside, I didn't come in last time I was here. We'll put a pound in the box in a minute. There's some of the work that was done. It's got a new lady vicar starting soon. And um, that's all rather nice, isn't it? Somebody starting afresh. I will pay for this. Uh, wait a minute, just put that down in a minute. So it's a lot to cart about. Let's just turn off for a minute in case it 